Dot. Daughter. Dot. It's the end, but the moment has been prepared for. The Watcher. He was a doctor all the time. Hello, folks. I'm here today with a new doctor is out. Today I'll be showing you the fourth doctor custom Lego figure. Now, of course, I've done this one from season 18 up to his demise in Legopolis. So first we'll show you the face. The face I've used is Hagrid from the 2020 sets. Of course, I think there's not much of a good likeness to Tom, but I think Tom, Tom Baker, who played him from the years 1974 to 81, so it's from season 12 up to season 18. He is the longest running classic hero doctor. Of course, Tom Baker loved playing the doctor. He's wrote uh, Scratch Man, which you should really listen to and read. I think it definitely shows you his perspective on the incarnation of today. Of course, he is doing Out of, Out of Time with David Tennant. It's a big chief audio, which I have not listened to yet, but a lot of people are saying that it's great. So we'll get on to the scarf. The scarf, it was, of course, wasn't sculpted. It was used by the, a long time ago, the BBC came out with the micro figures. So I had a lot of Tom, I had two Toms available. So I used a spare one of that for a season 18 scarf. So that's pretty much what I used for scarf and I recolored it in that kind of color. And then of course we get onto now is the coat. The coat was of course made out of fabric, not fabric, card, sorry, that's my fault. Card. And pretty much I used maroon for the front. So you have like the front details with the the pels, pels. Well, the front of the jacket, pretty much the cuffs, which look great. Of course, mine's bent into a corner. It shouldn't be. It should be. It shouldn't be straight, but it should be in that kind of way. I think it definitely represents what the scarf can do because it's a three D molded piece. I think it's not going to work that well. And of course we get to the shirt and of course he has the question mark at the cuffs. Then of course he has his waistcoat from season 18. Now his waistcoat is a bit hard to do. I've tried my best with this second version. The first version was terrible, so I got rid of it. So then we get onto the trousers. The trousers are also the maroon and a red kind of look. As you can see there. Then we get onto the boots. Now the boots he wears are big brown boots they go up to your ankle at the time so i've done that with four to five different layers of card cut into the actual bits and to give them that look now we get onto the side of course he does have the pocket but you can't see it because the arm gives it away then we get onto the sonic screwdriver accessory the accessory was used by the five inch character now it was the 11 doctor set of course now they came out with the 2013 like you know doctor set they came out with that and then later on in i believe it was 2080 2090 don't quote me on this it came out with 13 doctor set which is just them um, repainted so that's the accessory and of course we get onto the back sorry i think i wanted to lie down some screws just like his, you know, regeneration. So we get onto the back. Now the back does not have the seam because according to this, he didn't have a seam when I looked at all my reference. And we get onto this side. Of course, it also has the pocket. Now, if we were, this is where you're going to see my other hand here. You get onto the actual 3D cuffs of the costume, like I said. Of course, if you open this up, you can see that I put in the collar in there as well. Like, really tiny detail. Now we get on to the plastine hair. And of course, all of these little strands you can see in the front of the face are all done by me with, of course, my trusty sculpting tool. And I did all of those individually, which honestly, I had to look at uh, the big chiefs, uh, Tom Baker doing season 18. I had to look at that for my reference. 
all those individual strands. They took not that long. There was a thing I took about an hour, I think, or was it an hour and ten minutes? Because all those little strands. Then we get on to the sideburns. Sideburns, I looked at the reference again and I did them correctly. Also, both on both sides. And um, before people think, oh, this is a Lego custom piece, it's not. This is called by plasticine. Now, plasticine is like milliput or green stuff, but it's a little bit softer, so if you touch it, it moves. There's a definition on that. And of course, all these little up strands you can see were just me scanning it, getting the reference right. So, a little overhang on that. Just show you from all different angles. And I think that will do it for this part. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And goodbye for...